In this lesson, I want to compare the old version with the new version because the new version is completely rebuilt from from scratch. And, you know, so you want to, I want you to see side by side the difference that, you know, that they did and uh, new things that they added. So this is page builder 1.4 here. Um, and this is the newer one here, which is the 2.0. And as you can see, their designs are completely different. This one looks a lot more clean, a lot more robust. Uh, is where this one, you know, uh, looks plain. Uh, you have the categories here. This one, you have the categories as well. But if you notice here, they have the filters now on this side. And you have the media that you can upload, you know, different text, PDF, images, videos right on the sidebar. Here you can browse the folders, attachments, um, audio, the videos, um, and things like that. You have the integration. Now with the integration, you can integrate the uh, K2. And you can also integrate Joomla articles. So you're going to be able to edit uh, or to use Page Builder on K2 and also with Joomla, which this feature was not available with this one here, the uh, 1.4. Uh, wasn't available at the time. So you're going to be able to do that. So let's go back to the pages now. And I'm going to click on uh, a new. So we can, you know, kind of give a... Uh, overview so you can see a lot of the new things that they added and I'm going to go over to the the older version the 1.4 uh, to help you see how things are okay so now this is the new one here and the design once again looks cleaner this is the older version uh, notice here there's very few things here so let's go back to the new one now and I'm going to close this uh, this one out here so Let's click on well, one of the things. Let's look at the interface first. The interface here is very, very clean. You know, I love how they have to add new row, import uh, page templates. So you can be able to import, add new row. You can also get the templates uh, that's inco incorporated into this from here. So when you look over on this side, you have to save and close, save and new, and save as copy. And you have the options. When you click on the options, this is where you can you know open graph you can do some more stuff here you, you know custom CSS you can set the publishing uh, so you can add categories you can choose languages so if you have a multilingual website uh, and also if you want to have this particular page for uh, for registered users for uh, whatever access levels that you want to set you can do that here uh, you first have to create some categories which we're going to do later on all right, so now let's click on new. I'm just going to call this one page one. So you click on new. You have the options here to uh, to click on new add-on. Or let's go over to the page templates. When you click on the page templates, it gives you pre-designed uh, templates that you can use. So if you want to start a new page and you need some... Um, creative help or assistance well they've done this done that for you you just click on one of these and it's going to load it so let's click on the about us to load so as you can see it was really fast it loaded all the about us content here and let's click on this one save here and when you click on save you notice that you have this preview front end editor which they didn't have in the uh, version 1.4 so you have the option here you can edit the page on the back end as you're looking at it now or you can click on the front end editor and you can edit it from there and we're going to take a look more at that later on so when you click on preview you can be able to preview the page what it looks like but one thing that we need to do now is we need to change the template so that it's showing the helix 3 uh, template so to do that let's just go back over here And we're going to let Joomla know that we want to use Helix 3. And you click on the star. And let's go back to the front end of the site. And you notice that we have a brand new design here. Okay, so going back here. Let's preview this again. Now you have this beautiful template. So if you're getting started and you don't, you need some type of, you know, push to, you know, with the design and you need to somebody get started, then you can choose one of those pre-made templates. If you decide that you don't want to use that one, you want to use to contact us, it, it switches from that. Let's click on save and check this out. And it automatically just does that. 
which is really fast so now you have to contact this page and you can kind of go through these here uh, and choose the one that you want so this is something that is really great they had different designs before so they redesign even the pre um, pre-made templates for you so here's another design nice beautiful and very clean so you can you know put that there and you're ready to go okay so let's go over now to this section you have to undo and the redo the undo button allows you to undo something so let's say I'm just gonna delete this here let's say I accidentally deleted this part and I'm like oh man I didn't want to do that well I can just click on the undo and it is going to undo what I just did and if I want to redo it I click on the redo so these are really great buttons that you know to have because sometimes you're working on something and you realize that you made a mistake and you want to go back to the previous versions uh, but you really can't so this is great for you to do that alright let's go in this this corner here this here this is a toggle so if you want to move something up you want to open it up or close it down so you toggle it like that up and down and then right here this is where you can choose your column options so you have the different options here and this is based on the 12 grid system so all the numbers that you add has to total to 12 so as you move your mouse over you can notice that this 6 plus 6 equals 12 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12 uh, and so on and so forth and it gives you the ability to create custom uh, columns here so if you wanted to create something that you don't see here which you know I use a lot there are times when I'm working on something I realize that you know I wanted something that's maybe a little bit different like for example this one says uh, 363 well if I wanted to change this one uh, let's say to 110 1 then I can do that so I'm gonna click type in 1 plus 10 plus 1 and I'm gonna click generate so now it's generated that this large section here is 10 this large this section is 1 uh, and that is 1 so let's move over here to this row options when you click on the, let me just undo that when you click on the row options you have row options add new row duplicate now uh, row disable row copy row paste row and delete row so if you want to duplicate this row what you need to do is to click on duplicate and it is going to duplicate this row in every setting that you have for this particular row. So if you want to go back, if you want to disable a, a row, you click on disable and it's going to disable this row. So let me show you how this works on the front and let me delete this additional row here. So let's say I wanted to disable this top here. I've disabled it and I'm going to click on save and let me re reload this page. So now when I reload it, you notice that I don't have anything here at the very top because I disabled this top section. Well, if you want to enable it, you enable it and then you refresh it. So now you have that top section again. And also when you look at each, each um, add-on here, you have the edit, so you can click this to edit, you click this to clone it, you click this to disable. This is another great feature that they didn't have before. You know, sometimes you're working on something, you don't want you don't want to disable this entire row. You just want to disable a particular add-on. Well now you can do that just by clicking on just this disable. So let's save here and we'll go on the front end. When you refresh it, uh, it's not going to have that title because you've disabled just the add-on and not the entire section here. So let's enable that. And then let's go over now. Let's click on the new add-on. And also, by the way, uh, in this corner here, right next to the add-on, you have the column options. So you first, you have two options. You have the row options, which is the whole thing here. So if you wanted to make let's say a change to this entire row for the background the spacing this is where you do that uh, the, the the column row comes in when you have multiple columns let's say I wanted to change uh, the columns from that to this this gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of control because you can have you can independently control the options for each column you can change uh, the background you can change the animations you can change different things for it so you can add different items here that you want for each column <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So that gives you a lot of flexibility and control there. Times when I'm working on something now, you know, I want to have multiple columns, uh, but I want to have independently control each one. So you can do that. All right. So now let's go over to click on the add on. And with the add on, you have uh, several, you have 45 different uh, add ons that you can add here. They've added a couple more that they didn't have before, uh, which is the heading and the countdown. We're going to take a look at those later. And this section, you have the general. You click on that, it shows your articles and clients. Uh, Helix 3 call to action. You click on the slider. Uh, you click on deprecated. You click on social. And then now you have these different add ons that you can be able to use each one to uh, accomplish uh, a different task. So let me, I'm just going to click on one now. So we'll take a look at the functionalities of this particular one. So you have the general tab here, and you have to start. And I'm going to be covering this as we work on each one. And you responsiveness, you have access. So it gives you full control over this. Uh, and you can also be able to click on the front end editor which allows you to be able to add it. In order for you to be able to add it, you first have to log in to the front end of the site, uh, which we're gonna take a look at that later on. But as you can see now, the new 2.0 has, as you know, real build from the ground up, has a lot of great features that you can incorporate in your existing site uh, to make things a lot easier for you. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.